Hi, in this video I just want to show, if you are creating courses in Moodle Learning Management System or, Moodle servers like Moodle Cloud or Genomeo and, if you want to embed 3D graphics to make it more appealing, and intuitive to the learners, then how you can do that. There could be many ways of doing it. I just want to show how I do it. I use a software named Capacity Easy 3D Scan to upload my models into their server. The software is actually made to put 3D models of different products in shopping websites but, we are going to use it to enhance our e-learning courses. There are some limitations of 2000 views per month. Views are calculated in terms of loading of the image per from a PC or mobile per month. So if you have a lot of learners enrolled in the course then it can be a problem. I am not sure if this can be done in other ways and I am hoping that by this video I can get more ideas from you to do this thing more efficiently. Okay let's get started. So the way I do it is that I use Tinkercad to create my custom 3D models. There are many softwares you can use to create your 3D models like SketchUp, Blender, Vectory, MeshMixer, Sculptress and FreeCAD and there are hundreds of paid software with free trials. I have used Tinkercad because I need to create very simple designs and the software is very easy to learn. There are a lot of tutorials of Tinkercad on YouTube. You can go through the videos to learn how to create your own 3D models. First you need to go to the website of Tinkercad and create your account. Then you need to select 3D design and then create your model. You can see here I have created a 3D model of H plane T. After you have created the 3D model then you need to export the model to your PC with the file type of OBJ which is a standard 3D image format. A zip will be downloaded and I will extract the OBJ file to my desktop and rename it. Then you need to download and install Capacity software in your computer and create a free account on their website. As you open your software it will ask you to log in with your account. Then click on import files. Here I would also like to mention that you can even take a video of the object you want to 3D scan, and then click on this button to upload your video, and then the software will convert your object into 3D model. How awesome is that? A tutorial video is available on the Capacity website homepage. As there is a lockdown due to coronavirus and I can't go access my lab so I have created my own 3D model. And also you need a 4K camera for creating a clear 3D model. OK let us click on import files, then select create 3D view from OBJ, then browse and upload the file. There will be a note and a warning, just click OK. The file will be uploaded to the software. Then click on the Upload button on the left. Fill the file details here, and upload the model to the Capacity Cloud server. After this you will go to the Capacity website. I have already logged in so I will just refresh the page, then you will select your 3D model then click on Embed and get the iframe code of the model. Copy the code. Then you will go to your Moodle site. And select Turn Editing On, from the course menu. Go to the topic where you want to embed and select Edit Topic. In your Summary section toolbar, you have to select Show More buttons, and then you can see one more row of tools to select from. Select the HTML button, which will take you into HTML editing mode. Paste the iframe code of your 3D model you copied from Capacity website, and again press the HTML button, and now you can see the 3D model inside Moodle. Click on the Save Changes button at the bottom of the page, and there you have it, you can now embed your 3D models into your Moodle course. You can also embed your 3D models in any website you have, with this code. That's it folks see you next time. Keep learning.